Um, to give it a label, it would be, I'll say, theocentric. I'm a Christian in the Reformed Protestant tradition. Presbyterian, um, and so that uh, hugely influences the way I view the world. I believe, as Scripture teaches, that God created everything that is, everything that exists, and that He still sustains that creation as well. So everything sort of has to be viewed through that, through that lens that God created for his glory all that we see, everything around us, including we ourselves. So that basically breaks everything that exists into two categories. God, the infinite, all-powerful, almighty creator and sustainer of everything that is, who does not depend on anything or anyone. And then there's his creation, which is everything else, which uh, depends on him for its creation, its being, and only continues to exist because he sustains it by the word of his power. So God created all things for his glory, so all things are meant in some way or another to bring honor and glory to him. One other key to the way I understand the world is that, uh, that God, being that independent creator who is all-powerful, is, is sovereign and in control of everything that happens, and everything that happens sort of happens for a purpose as a part of his plan. At the same time, this is perhaps a little bit of a mystery, or a huge bit of mystery, man is actually responsible for his actions. Although God is sovereign over all things, a man also has free will, and the way those two fit together is, like I said, it's a mystery. It's something we can't understand, but since we're limited, finite creatures with a limited capacity for knowledge and understanding, we don't always understand everything that God does, who knows all things and never has learned anything, but just because of who he is, knows everything and knows all about his creation because he created it that way, not because it existed independently of him and then he figured out, oh, so that's, that's what that's like, two and two equal four, oh. I never thought of that before. So in looking at the world and realizing that God created it for his glory, we can uh, understand a little bit because of what God has told us in scripture about his plan for creation. How God created man and said to him, you need to obey what I tell you to. And you can see that in Genesis 3. You need to do what's right and lean and depend upon me. Have faith in me. Submit to me. And in Genesis 3, uh, we see where man disobeys that God's command. And so God said, if you will obey me, submit, rule over the rest of creation as sort of as my steward of it, uh, if you'll do that, then I'll give you life eternal, abundant blessings, basically knowledge of God and communion with him. And that is being our, our purpose as men is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Uh, that's what, uh, what God promised man if he would obey him.
But if you look around you, that's not what's going on. A man sinned, and all men are sinners, and so by nature they reject God. They reject what he says in his word. They reject the knowledge of him that is available through creation itself, being the world that God made. Uh, man has rejected that, and so has plunged all of creation and himself with it into a situation in which there is sin and rebellion against God and therefore there's a consequence of that we have misery now and you can see that through um, your personal experience you can see that as it's recorded in scripture just after man first sinned in the next generation you have brothers killing brothers and everything gets bad really quickly you have oppression, uh, injustice, all sorts of, of things going on. But God, because He's gracious, did not leave man in this miserable, sinful state but he took on human flesh. He who is infinite took on the finite. God became man in Christ. We call that the incarnation. And that's another mystery. We don't understand how someone can be completely God and completely man. But God, the second person of the Trinity, God the Son, did so. And uh, he came into this world and suffered the things that we all suffer in this world. And furthermore, he suffered the penalty and consequences for the sin of his people. God said, you know, if you obey and do what I said, you'll have life. You'll live with me in communion. And if you disobey, you'll have death. And so, what most people don't realize is when they sin, when they make mistakes... Uh, we often think of it as something we do against other people or that's harmful to ourselves, and that's very true. But in all, it's actually a sin against God, and for that we deserve His wrath. But in Christ, He came to earth and bore the wrath of God on the cross for the rest of mankind. But He completely obeyed God as God had originally commanded man to do. And so scripture tells us that we must come to God in faith and trust in Him. We must admit that we're sinful and messed up and that we can do nothing because we've already sinned. We can't reach perfection on our own. And so we have to trust in the one who is perfect, Christ, come in the flesh, and all that He did is transferred to those who believe all of his obedience that earns that eternal blessing of heaven we might say all of what he did is then given to those who are God's people who believe in him and so every everything that that people do that is sinful that when you have faith in Christ if you're one of his people then all that you do that is sinful is then transferred to Christ and the wrath of God, the punishment for that, is poured out upon Him. And so then you look at the rest of history, the rest of your life, and everything that happens is somehow part of God's plan to grow you in Him and conform you to the image of His Son in Jesus Christ and ultimately to bring history to that goal in Christ. Man will do just what God wanted him to do because Christ has obeyed all who are united to Christ in faith then will one day when Christ returns rule with him that's a long video uh, 
if you have any more questions about that, I'd love to discuss it further. Um, but that's my worldview. That's basically what I believe. Cheers.